Thursday afternoon, beginning of October. We've just had an urgent call to say that some people were up on top of Kinder having a walk and they stopped to have their lunch and as they were packing up one of the ladies uh, stepped back over the edge somewhere near Croden Tower and has taken a big tumbling fall all the way down. Uh, she's seriously injured so we're responding as urgently as we can. Kinder 1 have already been dispatched, they're up on scene at the moment We've already had an air ambulance that's been sent out, so they've landed somewhere near, but not, not couldn't quite get to the scene. Um, they've dropped a doctor off, who's now assessing the casualty with Kinder 1. We understand that it's, she has some fairly serious injuries. We're suspecting probably a broken pelvis, maybe a, some lower back injuries as well. Um, it's looking fairly serious. Seeing as it's midweek and numbers are generally a bit low midweek, we also asked Buxt Buxton team to assist us. They came out to help, but as they were on the way, we also got a call for Edale team just round the corner in Grindsbuck, uh, who are dealing with a lower leg injury. So as we have an air ambulance on site, they've gone over to help uh, Edale team. So from our point of view, we're ju now just trying to get as many team members together. Kinder 2 have the job of taking all the heavy equipment into the casualty site. They do that by piling it onto the stretcher, attaching the wheel on the bottom and then r driving it in. It's still a few miles so it's going to take a while yet. in the middle, missed it. We're doing left. Right, let's have a catch up with where everyone is. The casualty is somewhere underneath Croden Tower, fairly seriously injured, with Kinder One on site now. They've sent someone down to look after the casualty, along with the Helimed doctor, who's going to depart shortly. They've asked for a Coast Guard helicopter to come along and winch, but they've also asked for our rope rescue gear just in case that can't happen. The air ambulance is somewhere on the top near Croden Tower, but not quite uh, close enough. That's the closest they could get to land. Kinder 2 are somewhere further back with the stretcher, bringing in the immediate rescue equipment, uh, the vac mattress, uh, those kind of tools that we're going to need to get the, the casualty out. Kinder 3 are somewhere on the Edale cross track in one of our vehicles along with all the heavy uh, rope rescue gear. They're going to have to make their way all the way up the track to get up to the casualty site. Buxton and Edale, they're just further down Kinder um, and are currently dealing with another casualty. We make the decision that as a Coast Guard helicopter has been requested, um, the air ambulance who now get a call to say that they've got another urgent job to go to not too far away decide to leave, so they move on and wait for the, the Coast Guard helicopter or, and our own rescue kit to arrive. Drop on the left. Can you get all the rope rescue kit out behind the wall in that flat area? Um, get yourselves ready. The helicopter's on its way to pick it up. Over. In the street from base, um, I expect you'll be going in the helicopter with the kit. Over. Uh, base, this is Mobile 3. Uh, for your information, the uh, rescue 912 has been on the ground at Edel Cross for some few minutes and just took off to the east. Over. Yeah, copy that thing, thing theme on the map. Uh, can you return to base, please, and pick up two more bodies, over? FRTV, pick up. The Coast Guard helicopter arrived on scene, but it turned out there wasn't enough wind for them to hold a hover to allow them to winch the casualty up onto the top. So we agreed that we'd bring them up with our rope rescue kit. Um, and then hand them over to the helicopter. However, our rope rescue kit was quite a long way down the track. So the helicopter crew uh, 
uh, offered to go and pick up the rope rescue kit along with a couple of extra members. Um, they flew them back up to the CAS site, which meant, then meant that we could then set up the rope rescue equipment and start get, bringing the lady back up. Um, while we were doing that, um, the, the helicopter took the opportunity to fly off to Manchester Airport, refuel and come back again, so that by the time we'd managed to get the lady to the top, they were all ready to fly her off to Sheffield. That's a very steep drop there, okay. so we need to. Well, Should we go to that ledge and then? If you get down the road of that. Yep. So you're ready to see. Yeah. 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 I've got it. Everyone's had fun with it today. Slide down. Yep. Down. Okay. Ready at the center. Ready. 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 Ready.